Well, I, you know, um, that, that goes along with the, the idea. Well, when, when I wrote The American Astronaut, I mean, this is my second musical space western. The first one was, <laughs> the first one was autobiographical. Um, and uh, and it, it, was, it was very personal. This one was, was inspired by different things. Uh, but one of the reasons I wanted to stick with that with this was um, in, in trying to embrace American culture and, and do something that I thought was a positive thing, um, I, I wanted to use space again and, and use it differently because when I was a, a kid growing up in the 60s, um, little in the 60s, born there, and, uh, and you know through the 70s, um, everybody talked about the future and everybody talked about, um, about you know, someday we'll be driving flying cars and have little pills that will you know, meet our every nutritional need and someday we'll live on the moon. There used to be cat in the hat books you will live on the moon, and and uh, space was very it influenced pop culture. David Bowie and Elton John were dressing all kooky and crazy and singing about outer space and and rockets, and uh, you know Star Trek was big, and all these things were, were happening, and, and everybody talked about the future, and, and um, now people don't do that anymore. Um, we don't we don't have that that kind of uh, it, it we when we think of the future, it's it's scary, and and we try to uh, approach it by by moving backwards and doing things the old-fashioned way, uh, in our in the way we make our food and stuff, that's that's futuristic. Is doing things naturally now, and so um, I wanted to. I thought I thought it was very um, that kind of naive looking toward the future and science fiction and everything as being a very uh, optimistic thing. And 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 I I I, I, t I tend to lean more towards films that are that are that are kinder than than the mean ones, so I wanted to make this nice and kind.